Why don't we get you some new band-aids? Yeah. Let's get new ones. Yeah. You don't have to take it all the way off. Miko, you almost got it. You almost got it. Almost got it. One of the questions that I always see is, why do I treat Miko like a baby? And the truth is, Almost had your sock on. Let's try it again. Got it. You almost got your sock on. Uh, I yeah. Almost. Uh, Use both hands. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 uh. No, 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 no. Yeah. You don't have to take it all the way off. Miko, you almost got it. You almost got it. Almost got it. Let's try it. Come on. You almost got it. You can do it. You almost got your sock on. Keep trying. Grab this at the bottom. Grab this side over here. Right here. Yeah! You did it. You put your sock on. Show me you can shake it. Can you shake it? Uh oh. Can you shake it? You know, shake it. Shake it. Shake. Yes. Shake. Can you say shake? Shake. Yeah. Shake. With your mouth. Shake. What did it matter? Why don't we get you 
use some new band-aids. Yeah. Let's get a new one. One of the questions that I always see is, why do I treat Miko like a baby? Or why, you know, why, why am I not um, treating her and teaching her um, things that three and four year olds should be doing and what they should be knowing? And the truth is, is that Miko is not mentally four years old. She is delayed by about 18 months. With the evaluation that was performed, uh, they evaluated her communication, cognitive functions, fine motor, gross motor skills, and so on, and determined that a lot of those things, she was um, extremely delayed. And so when I do things with Miko, um, when I am trying to teach her something, or when I am trying to um, just communicate with her I have to dial back a lot because I have to I have to remember that she isn't going to understand the same way that a neurotypical four-year-old would understand so besides the barrier that we have to get through with autism we also have to get through receptive and language disorder which is not autism that is a whole separate language disorder um, not being nonverbal is a whole different separate thing, right? These things people can have and not be autistic. Typically with somebody that is autistic, they have other things. So they'll have sensory processing disorder, any type of language disorder, um, communication issues, and um, those are all different things. So. I have to dial back a lot of what I do because I have to make sure that I'm doing things that she can understand and I'm saying things that she can understand. So it's not that I'm treating her like a baby, it's that I'm not treating her like she's four because she isn't. There are things that she can do that you guys do see, but for the most part, it is really hard to kind of capture um, how she truly is on camera. Um, and not because she's paying attention to the camera, but because I'm in the act and in the motion of trying to help my child and I'm not thinking to, oh, set up a camera every time that I'm doing stuff with her, which is why you don't see his post all the time. I am, I'm actively helping her. We are getting her help. I know that a lot of you guys miss our captions and you don't look at the whole video. And so a lot of you are just making assumptions that we disagree with with therapy, with professional therapies, and that we don't want to get her help, and that is far from the truth. We have never said that we did not agree with it. It was a time and point where there were things that we could do until those options were available to us. Just because the options are not coming as quickly as you would like them to be does not mean that we are negating the fact that our child needs help and that we can't do everything for her and that we are not professionals in autism or language disorders. It does not, that's not what we're saying. So we are actively getting our help and when we have more information 
and we choose to share that with you guys, then we will. I appreciate everybody that does um, send their support and their love and, um, and understanding. And those that are going through this, I know you guys understand what's happening, um, even if it's not directly the same. So um, I hope this video was helpful. And if you guys have any other questions or any other concerns or anything that help you guys, please comment them below. Or we also have in our description our um, email our email address that you guys can also email us at. So until next time.